Welcome to Jatai Scissor Fundamentals. In this episode, we're going to cover scissor over comb. So let's get started. In order to demonstrate the technical skills that you're going to need to master to do scissor over comb well, I'm going to use the Jatai J160, which is the Tokyo scissor. I'm going to use the six inch. And the reason I like this is it's got a long skinny blade. The thinner the blade is, the easier it is to see what you're doing as opposed to a fatter blade. Now, holding the comb, I'm going to take the comb, put it right in the crotch of my pinky and my ring finger. My forefinger goes on the teeth, my thumb goes on the spine, I curl my fingers around, and I want to be able to rotate my comb like this. Because scissor over comb is as much about getting into a rhythm as it is how many times that I can cut cleanly going up and making a smooth line. So my goal is to have a smooth sort of stack or a smooth graduation going through and that's only going to come from hitting it a lot of times in the proper place in order to get it nice and smooth. Now the first time that I go through and take a section, I'm going to put my comb in against the, against the head. I'm going to angle it at whatever angle I want my graduation to be and that's how I'm going to start angling up and out from the head. The first pass, I'm not going to try to be real precise with it. I'm just trying to get the length correct. So I'll start, I'll cut against the comb, I'll raise up a little bit against the comb, I'll raise up a little bit against the comb, I'll raise up a little bit against the comb. So I've done four sections. Those four sections are going to leave me four nice little lines. The higher that I elevate the section as I'm cutting, the less of a hard line that I'm going to have. The lower that I elevate, the harder that that line's going to be. So elevate a little higher for each cut and that will make that line a little softer. Now I'll go through and start to really fine tune that. And the way that I fine tune it is I just do more scissor cuts. So holding your scissors properly, only moving the thumb, being able to go back and forth, up and down, keep my elbows bent, start here, I have one blade moving, the other blade staying stationary, and then I just trace what I previously cut. And I just keep going over until it ends up being as smooth as I would like. The first pass that I go through, I'm basically just guessing at what the length's going to be. The second pass, I start to fine tune it. The third pass, I fine tune more. The fourth pass, I fine tune more until I start to get a really nice and smooth line and sort of graduation going through there. The better scissor control that I have, the smoother the line's going to be. The more muscular dexterity and endurance that I have doing this, the better that the end result's going to be. And in reality, I'm not trying to make everything perfect with every pass. All I'm trying to do is trace the section that I did before. So if I can put my comb in and I see the line and I just start tracing it, I will cut off little bits of hair that don't quite fit, but I'm not actually looking for hair to cut. I think that's one of the common misconceptions that people have about scissor over comb is they're looking for hair to cut. I'm not looking for hair to cut. I'm looking to just trace the previously cut guide so I can fine tune it and make it smoother. There becomes a point of diminishing returns. So you need to know when to stop. And when to stop is going to be when I start getting shorter and shorter and shorter until I basically just lay the comb against the head and cut everything the same length of the comb. That's, that's fine if you're just trying to cut everything off, but at that point you might as well just use a clipper and just clipper everything off if it's going to be the same length anyway. It's ridiculous to go through and use a scissor to get that same sort of effect. The point of using a scissor to scissor over comb is I'm trying to get some graduation to it. I'm not just trying to cut everything the same length. I'm trying to get a stack. I'm trying to get some sort of shorter in the front as it goes up, shorter on the bottom as it goes up, shorter behind the ear as it goes up, shorter in the nape as it goes up. I'm not just trying to cut everything the same length. Now after I finish with my larger comb, 
I can fine tune more by going with a smaller comb. I can get closer to the scalp down here at the hairline and continue to work that up and out. I want you to realize that this is a purely visual method of cutting hair. There's not much technicality as far as measuring goes. It's I go through, I guess at what the length is supposed to look like. Does that look like it? Yes. Now let's fine tune that without going through and cutting everything completely off. The more I fine tune it, the smoother that everything is going to be. A good way to practice this is to take a doll head you've already cut and start fine tuning and trying to cut everything about finger length, a little shorter around the edges and just trace the guide that's already there and just trace. And what will happen is your, your hand will start to wiggle a little bit and as it starts to wiggle you'll end up cutting a big hole in it. So now you've got to work the hole out. That means I go a little shorter underneath as I start to taper it out a little bit longer. So sometimes if the hair is very thick and floppy I'll cut, leave my scissor there, go up to the next section, cut, leave my scissor, cut, and I leave the scissor as kind of a guide for where I'm at as I remove the comb and put the comb back. Sometimes the hair is not as pokey as my doll head where it's easy to just smoothly go up and out. So now we've got a nice little smooth graduation through there. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Cut, 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 cut. I'm just fine tuning, I'm not fine tuning, Get that out of the way. Very, very crude. Get out of the way, buddy. Very crude. Getting a general length in place that I can see and I can really start to fine tune from here. And then just start to motor the scissor and fine tune that up and out. I'm going a little shorter around the front hairline, getting longer towards the ears. I'm also going shorter on top of the ears, up and out. And I just keep doing this until I get it as smooth as I want. That concludes the scissor over comb portion. Short little video, but very important technique that you need to master. Get a good scissor, skinny, skinny blade. The J160 is my preference. The Tokyo is my preference. Um, it's a very straightforward kind of technique. It just requires a couple of key things to make it easier. Holding scissors right, getting the comb movement right, starting crude, and then continuing to fine tune with each subsequent pass. And practice is really all that it takes. So get a doll head, get you a good pair of scissors, and just practice and practice and practice and soon your scissor of a comb will be perfect as well. So thank you for checking out the Detai Academy Scissor Fundamentals course, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.